Okay, you guys, here it is. It's different scenery today. <laughs> I'm at the beach. Um, it was uh, a bit cloudy earlier, so I decided to not actually come to the beach. So I'm actually in uh, regular clothes because it was supposed to be my day off working out today. And uh, you guys can see your, my camera in my, in my glasses, can't you? So I'm going to take them off. <laughs> Bugs me every time I watch one of my videos back. Anyway, um, uh, it was supposed to be my day off today. And um, I just feel restless and guilty. <laughs> so I decided to do a power walk day instead. And my hams are bugging me. And sometimes a good long walk actually helps them feel better. So um, I've talked about being at the beach a few times. I actually showed you guys the beach on one of my walks back in the winter, which, you know, wasn't really very indicative. So I thought I'd show you the beach now. <laughs> Here's my beach. <laughs> There's my lifeguard and the lifeguard boat and my friends with their little windscreen tent. And uh, my friend, my friend Rod, who I've talked about in the past, he lives in that building right there in the middle, the beige and white one, or the burgundy and white one right in the middle of the screen right now. So yeah, this is my beach. This is where I come and hang out and get a tan and it's awesome. So I'm going to go for a walk now and I'm actually going to wind up at my, um, at the hill that I do hill sprints on and I know I've showed you guys this before a long time ago but anybody who's new here has never seen it uh, unless you've watched every video I've ever done which I highly doubt. <laughs> what would you do to that? It would take you hours. Um, so I'm going to stop at that hill and show you that hill as well um, so you guys can get an indication of what it is I'm doing when I say I'm going to do hill sprints. So I'll be back later. Talk to you soon. Bye. Alright you guys, so when I do hill sprints, this is where I come, because you can see the scenery sucks and it's a horrible place to do hill sprints, <laughs> but this is my hill. So I'm walking down the hill right now, I'm going to stop in the middle and just kind of show it to you. It's good in the summer because it's under this big tree and the sun's up there, so it's under this big tree so you get shade the whole time, which on one hand is good, keeps you cool, but for me I love the sun so I don't really like having the shade on me all the time, I want to tan while I run. But anyway, so this is what I do, I come, I run eight, eight and a half minutes or so to this hill and then uh, at the bottom of the hill uh, I get to the top and uh, I walk down the hill. Oh, no, wait, what am I doing? Yeah, I walk down the hill and then I get to the bottom and I turn around and I sprint up the hill and then I get to the top and I stop and I turn around and I walk down the hill and again <laughs> and again <laughs> and again and I do that until I have eight and a half minutes left before 40 minutes is up. And then I, um, I just I do one last walk down the staircase that's right beside it. And I run home for eight and a half minutes, or I run back to my starting line, uh, which is also my finish line. So that's what I do for hill sprints. It's just, uh, I mean, the scenery doesn't change, but as you guys can see, who cares? <laughs> the scenery is gorgeous. So, you know, it's a tough job, but someone's got to work out here. <laughs> and almost never is there anybody on this hill because the hill is kind of a hill between two paths. One's a walking path, which this is where I do my running as well, by the way. Um, one's a walking path. And the one up there that I just was came that I just came from is a cycling path. And there isn't a lot of lead over between the two. Um, so people going up the hill, there aren't it hardly ever happens. Because the bikes are up there and the people are down here. So yeah, so it's great. So um, it looks like my battery's running out. I hope I have a little bit more juice for one more bit in this uh, segment, but so we'll see. So I'll turn off for now and uh, continue on my walk down the Vancouver Stanley Park seawall and I should probably change my blog from a fitness blog to a Vancouver tourism blog, don't you think? <laughs> See you in a minute. Bye. <laughs> this is just a shot of some scenery that I get to look at when I uh, go running. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> a train. Uh, general tourism. It's waving. They want to be on my blog. Wave if you want to be on my blog. There you go. <laughs> don't know that guy. <laughs> and a swimming pool full of kids and people having a good time and some, some, um, some lanes for people to do some decent swimming cardio. That's awesome. I've never done it. The reason is it's chlorine in it and I don't like to get into chlorine if I don't have to. Not only is it not healthy, but it wreaks havoc on my hair. <laughs> I've hate a lot for this hair. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, this is just some of the scenery I see and as I'm doing my running or my hit or uh, not my hill sprints because I don't go this far when I do hill sprints. I just go to that hill I just showed you and go home uh, after the hills are done. But uh, I'll show you as much as I can until the battery dies. How's that for a deal? <laughs> All right, talk to you soon. I'll be back in a minute. 
Okay, you guys, there's a little bit more scenery of the area where I run when I'm doing hills and hill sprints. I just wanted to show you one thing. This is the hill that I do when I'm, one of the hills that I do when I'm doing um, uh, an endurance run with Hills Incorporated. It's a staircase. I uh, do it, it's right in the middle of my run. It, uh, I'm about 20 minutes in when I do this staircase and I gotta tell you, it makes me wanna kill myself at the top. It just goes on and on and on. <laughs> when you're running anyway, it just feels like it goes on and on. It's a pretty big one. I mean, you know, I'm only halfway up. So, yeah, it's not easy. And then uh, I get to the top and I get to, I, I run a little bit more. I don't know how I keep running when I get to the top of this thing because um, seriously, it just, it just about kills me. But I keep running and um, get my heart rate back down again. See? <laughs> get my heart rate back down again and get to my turnaround point and um, at that point, yeah, we're at the top finally. At that point, I um, turn around and come back and do a bunch of different hills um, that are pointing in the right direction because now I'm turning around and going, going the other direction. I tend to not use stairwells when I'm going in the down direction, going down a hill. Um, just because stairwells force you to step where the step is. And they're really hard. I mean, you can't take tiny, small steps either. Um, I just I find that I get too out of control going down staircases at a running pace, so I just don't do it. So I find hills that I can go down that are actual hills. Uh, I find them much easier to run down without potentially hurting myself, getting out of control, falling down, slipping, whatever, tripping. So um, anyway, I want to tell you guys something funny. As I was recording that last segment, um, <laughs> the guy, that, the guy that waved, want to be in my blog. Um, after I turned the camera off and got walking again, I passed him and he wanted to know what the URL of this, uh, this blog is. So I told him. So I, I guess he's going to check it out. So Guy, Guy, I don't know. If, you, um, if you're checking it out, put a comment in the comments section and tell us who you are, okay? <laughs> I should have probably asked you. How rude of me. Um, yeah, let us know who you are and uh, welcome. Welcome. I'm glad to have you here. So yeah, so at this point, if I'm only up here if I'm doing if I'm doing an endurance hills run, if I'm doing an just a, a flat endurance run, I'm still on the bottom part of the path running, but this is pretty much still the scenery I can see, so it's great. It's totally, totally great. So uh, I don't know how much more juice I've got, like I said. I expect this thing to cut me off midstream at some point. Um, but until it does that, let's just keep talking and walking, shall we? See you in a bit. So I showed you guys a uh, crane in the water earlier. There's a kayaker now. And um, this is Siwash Rock. <laughs> this is where I walk to sometimes. Um, and often, you know what else you see sometimes is um, seals and otters. It's really cool. Uh, it feels really remote around here, right? Like in this part of the seawall. But I'm telling you, it's so close to the city. That's West Van out there. Uh, that's across the bridge. But um, the city is just behind all these trees about uh, two miles uh, and I'm, I'm about as far away from the city as I can get right now on the path um, this is the kind of the far end of it so sort of far the back side of it so yeah so um, I was going to tell you guys as well when I do endurance hill running I tend to I run on the footpath but then when I want to go up a hill or down a hill I have to actually cross the bike path in order to get up or down the hill and back to the footpath. So as you can see, this is why I try not to run an endurance hills run on a um, sunny sunny day, especially on a weekend, because there are people on wheels flipping everywhere, and I'm asking for it to um, to be trying to cross this path over and over and over again on a sunny weekend day, because I'll get smoked for sure by one of those guys. <laughs> anyway, so is this making you crazy, me walking and talking? I should stop when I talk, maybe? Um, so yeah, no, that's, that's it. That's all I had to say at the moment. I'll be back. Just another beach to run past. <laughs> you know, life's hard. Um, I come to this beach once in a while. It's a bit more remote though. You kind of have to drive into the park. It's not a walk to uh, like the other beach I showed you. This one's called Third Beach. It's right in the middle of the park, so you kind of have to take a car or a bike. Uh, but I carry so much stuff to the beach with me that a bike isn't really isn't really doable. <laughs> There's no place to put all my stuff. Anyway, because um, you know, when I go to the beach, I go for the day, so I pack a bunch of 
healthy food so I don't go to the concession stand and I bring a Starbucks, uh, uh, insulated Starbucks cup full of like, the green tea so I'm not tempted to go get coffee and um, you know I just hang out and have a healthy day. I swim a lot too when it's hot, when it's hot enough definitely out there swimming. I showed you guys that little slide that's on the um, that's on the, uh, the, the platform. They pull it out for the summer and they anchor it for the summer and when the tide's up they, um, they open it and let people go down it. So we go down it and swim out there. And I spend a lot of time swimming for all, to all the boys as well, all the, the boys that mark where the boats are still supposed to stay out of. And that takes a long time as well. So I get pretty good workouts in the ocean. And it's pretty clean water here too. Don't let the color of the water fool you. Um, it's actually one of the cleanest beaches, uh, cleanest water beaches in the world, uh, believe it or not. And the, um, the water looks brown because the sand, color of the sand isn't white. That's why. It's got nothing to do with the color, the, with the, um, it's got nothing to do with the, uh, the cleanliness of the water. Anyway, so that's it. Keep on on going until the battery dies. See you in a bit. We get all types here in Vancouver, don't we? <laughs> I think he's trying, he's busking, he's trying to earn some bucks. Um, yeah, he's getting a workout. <laughs> he's got his tights on, his shiny tights, he's getting a great workout. Anyway, so that's kind of fun. So yeah, I'm back back at the beach to I hang out on. Look how busy it is now, holy crow. The sun's really come out and I wish I was laying out on the beach, not walking around. But you know, whatever. Um, Yep, they planted palm trees on this beach. I don't know why. We're in BC for God's sake. <laughs> Here's another look at this dude. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to um, I'm gonna sit somewhere and eat, have a snack. Uh, I brought myself I brought myself um, a Larabar. And they're really good. Have you guys ever tried them? They're really, really good. Uh, and they're all natural ingredients. And this one I brought is called pecan pie, and I'm here to tell you, it tastes just like a butter tart. <laughs> it's really good, so you should try them. Anyway, that's uh, that's the end of our walking tour of, uh, of the area that I do all my cardio. Um, so I guess we'll see you again pretty soon. Okay, take care. Have a great uh, have a great day. Bye. And home again. I thought I'd do one more little bit of the video to show you guys where I'm talking about when I'm talking about where Stanley Park is so close to the city. You guys know I live in the middle of the city, <laughs> and here's where the park is. See. Um, See that big glob of uh, trees way out in the background? And on the other side of the building here, all those trees and stuff on the other, way out in the background, below the mountains, that's Stanley Park. That's how close it is to the city. So, pretty sweet, eh? Nice and convenient. I just walk straight down the, the road I live on, uh, and it takes me straight to that seawall that I told you is where I run. So, it's pretty convenient for me. I hope most of you guys out there have some kind of convenient place to get outside and do cardio, um, even if it's just the street, you know? I mean, you all live on a road, I hope. <laughs> so if you do, then you've got a place to do it. It's getting windy out here, so I better go in, because I know you guys can't hear me when it's windy. I hope most of this video shows for you guys. Um, it, it was a bit breezy out there as I was recording some of it, so pardon me if, uh, if some of it's hard to hear. I know this is after the fact, too. You're, you're listening to this after you've watched the video. <laughs> This is the end of the video, but I apologize if it was if, if any of it was hard to hear. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that with this handheld camera that I use. I don't have, uh, you know, I couldn't even go for a walk with all the professional stuff with the mics and all that, or else I would have too much stuff. So it's this or nothing. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Sunday night, I got stuff to do, including get this blog up. Uh, so I hope you guys all had a really great weekend, and we will see you again very soon. Take care, bye.